Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be checking out this craft. Now, when you look at it, it doesn't seem that unusual. It looks like a pretty cool and well-designed spaceship. The only thing weird about it is the massive magazine at the front. There's just 800 rounds of drum mags sticking out the front of the spaceship. But this isn't the only weird thing. Because if you go to the Steam store page of this creation, you'll see this, the Workhorse Model 1 HCC. I have no idea what HCC stands for. Anyways, if you look through the photos, you can see it picking up cargo, which looks really cool. This might actually be an amazing thing to transport cargo with. But then you remember, there's not only magnetic connections on the top of cargo things, but also on the bottom. So you can also do stuff like this, double stacking the containers. Now this looks a little weird and landing might be a little bit dangerous because your landing legs are up here and not on the containers. But then you go to the third picture and you see this. This would probably be a nightmare to fly around in. Also an absolute nightmare to load and unload. This is incredibly impractical because all of these probably have completely different destinations, but we're gonna be doing that in this episode and actually testing it to see if it is worth the effort. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Alright, let's get inside this thing and start it up. Oh, look at the cockpit. How are you meant to fly something when you're facing the wrong way? There's probably a motor underneath that seat though. We'll see when I get in it. I do appreciate that there's actually a total of six entrances. And for some bizarre reason, three of them are just at the exact same spot. So you've got a door here and a door there. That might be enough actually, maybe more than enough. But then there's another door right here. Looks like we have a ton of gear though. It's just everywhere. Oh, look at this. Probably when you have the containers loaded, you wouldn't be able to see down. But this would be pretty scary to walk on, especially right here where there's no railings if we're up in the air. And what's back here? It looks like a very, very green room. Yeah, this mostly looks like just places for people to sit. Oh, there's a computer here? That's so cool. I don't think it does anything since it's a HUD, but that is very cool. All right, here we go. Am I going to have to fly the ship looking backwards at this door the whole time? It looks like I don't have to. There's a motor. Cool. All right, let's start this thing up. That's a lot of engines. We've got six engines. Good thing there's a master start button. I would not want to have to press every single start button all by themselves and throttle up. I do like how even though you can't see any exhaust plumes, since this is a spaceship, there's actually lights down there that light up to simulate space engines. Okay, we're lifting off and let's start moving forward. Oh, I've already damaged the landing gear. Okay, we're clear of the hangar. Let's lift off. What's crawl mode? What? I should probably not press that in the air, but I just pressed it. Does it do something? I don't really see anything. Well, we should put away our landing gear. That's pretty cool. Instead of using actual wheels, it just uses blocks. They are easier to get damaged, as you can see, but I guess they're easier to make fold away. Okay, let's fly towards where we're going to be picking up our car. Cargo. And when I say that, I mean stealing every single last piece of cargo they have there. Oh, and I'd like to point out, we are at 0.06% thrust, and we're going this fast already. I'm a bit scared about what would happen if we went to 100% forward thrust. I'm already going too fast with 13%. Alright, instead of doing it the sane way, where you look for the cargo and find one that you think would be appropriate for you, I'm just gonna grab all of them and the first destination i see is gonna be the one we fly to first actually that's probably a bad idea because how would we unload that you know what we are going to be flying to the ones on the bottom that sounds better so i believe instead of just landing on top of the crate you're meant to pull it in with winches okay hopefully this is stable enough i'm kind of worried about this because we are drifting forwards ever so slightly maybe i should activate my landing gear and just land okay that's not gonna work well, maybe it is. No, it's not gonna work at all. That's bad. Come on, just let me land. I'm gonna get this sooner or later. There we go. We've landed. Now, I kind of need rope to connect this. Or maybe we can just winch down. Is it winching? Which one is this? I don't see anything moving down. That might be because these winches don't even have any rope in them. I'm getting the idea that trying to do this may not have been the smartest thing. Oh, okay. So they connected but to the wrong connectors. That's a simple fix just press this button 
and it should disconnect. And I've just got a backup. Hopefully this works, because I've been trying for a very long time to get this to work. There we go! Yes! The first thing is connected. How great is that, though? Bandao shipping. I don't even know where it's going. Hopefully, we'll be able to deliver it. Why is it so hard to do this? I admire how the creator of this vehicle managed to get that many containers on this ship. Because I can't even do two. Oh, why is there so much lag? I, I'm i sorry, but there's just weird lag spikes right now. Okay, I have one winch connected right now, and it's pulling pulling the container in. All right, now three more ropes left. And this is kind of annoying. I don't know why, but the ropes are located down here, or at least the ropes I've been able to find. So I have to go all the way around. Anyways, it's looking much better now. So let's activate these ropes. All right, it's actually getting pulled into the right position. Okay, third rope. Here, let's connect that there and connect this there. Good, and start winching in. This is nearly perfectly lined up, which is amazing. I think it's good Good enough. I don't even think we have to connect the last winch. I think it's going to be able to connect itself. Let's lower ourselves a little bit though, just in case. Yes! It connected! Let's go! We've got a lot more though. And I don't think you guys really want to watch me load a bunch of containers, so I'm going to cut out a lot of it. But that doesn't mean it's not going to take a long time, okay? So if you guys do enjoy this video, a like or subscribe just to make this whole process slightly more worth it would be very much appreciated. Anyways, thank you. Okay, I finally did it. Now, I cannot tell you how long that took. And yes, I did use no clip here and there. But that that's just because I don't want to go insane. Oh, and also, you may have noticed, a tsunami tried to foil my plans, and so did a whirlpool. I didn't really give the whirlpool a chance to form, though. Anyways, that's why two of these containers are sideways, and I can't pick them up. You tell me right now how I can pick up a sideways container. Yeah, it's just not gonna work. Work. So let's take off and head to the nearest drop-off point. But before we do that, click the save button. Now what should we call this? Okay, now at least if anything goes awfully wrong, well no, it's not really a question of if, as it is a question of when everything goes horribly wrong. Anyways, when it actually happens, at least I'll have a save to go back to. Oh, I almost forgot. I kind of have to check the destination of the bottom two. Hopefully they're the exact same destination, because that would make everything so easy, but chances are they aren't. Alright, that's in the Arctic, I'm not doing that. This is Komodo, oh that's nearby, I can do that. Yeah, but there's no chance am I ever gonna take a trip to the Arctic. Alright, well, Komodo isn't too far away. Yep, yeah, whoa, look at the seed. The multiplayer island is so close to Komodo. Anyways, let's set a waypoint and let's start moving. We better not flip over or something. It's not really letting me ascend. This might be a little bit too much weight for it to handle. Okay, here we go. Forward thrust. Let's see how fast this thing can go. Oh no! Oh, what is happening? See? That is why you quick save. Alright, I've learned from my mistake. Let's just go... Oh! Oh no! Okay, we did a little bounce there. Alright, back to another quick save. We're like upside down. I have a feeling there'll be a lot of quick saving and quick loading. This vehicle? What? The workhorse, I think it's called? Yeah, it's not meant for this at all okay let's go even less now 0.06 that worked out for us well didn't it last time i'm gonna be so annoyed if this thing flips over wait it's not even moving is that not enough throttle all right okay 11 please don't blow up please don't blow up okay we're still moving slowly come on okay can it handle 18 oh it's moving at a good pace now this is probably violating 30 different safety procedures. But hopefully we earn a bit of money out of this. I do believe that's the multiplayer island, which means behind all that fog is Komodo. I do not like how much it tilts whenever I use the yaw. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. There's that massive bit of ammo there. You can shoot. 
It's very slow, though. There's Komodo. I have a feeling that more than one of these containers are for Komodo. So we'll probably get like two or maybe even three rewards. Okay, let's slow down. Should I make a quick save? You can never be too sure. I'm gonna make one. Okay, we are landing and let's see our reward. I don't really remember the zone you're supposed to land in. So we're just gonna land in the middle of these containers and hope it works. Nope, where's the reward? Did the containers expire? No, I've I've still got 142 minutes and that's three thousand dollars just for that container so what's wrong or oh, also this might be a little dangerous for career mode because if you fall out of that to check the containers there's really no getting back up okay i'm gonna try moving forward a little if that doesn't work i'm gonna move back i'll find the zone eventually we are having some problems. Give me the money. This is such a scam. I delivered it for them and they're not giving me any money. Awful, really. How about over here in this parking lot? Nope. We all we get is a nice dunk in seawater. And now we're flooding. Just great. Whoa, what's that on the tracks? Wait, wait, wait. Is that like an, a cart? I've never seen that before. Okay, we're gonna take a break from our mission of delivering cargo containers and just look at whatever this is. What is this? Oh, it's a delivery for coal? Since when was this a thing? I don't know if this is in the base game or if I downloaded it. Do you just not get the money if you're in creative mode? Well, that explains everything. All right, I'll keep that in mind then. Listen to this. How about we do this, but instead of just getting the money, we just leave the containers there for free. That's amazing. We're like the best delivery service ever. All right, also, I am not going to BVG. It's just out of the question. BVG is so far away. This, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that. So we're gonna be dropping off BVG also here. This is also BVG, are you kidding me? Is everything, that's also BVG. You know, I might, just go to bvg because of how many things are in bvg yeah i'm gonna go to bvg only and everything else that's not bvg can just not be delivered i'm sorry but i'm gonna do that but now i'm gonna have to somehow connect these things back up because i just disconnected them okay so it seems like all of these and these two are going to bvg so that's actually where we're going oh this is gonna take even longer than i thought oh hey my enemy the tsunami is back Stormix is just spawning so many tsunamis as ever since the new update. It's just constantly spawning these tsunamis. It's getting kind of annoying. And now we begin the painful trek all the way up north to the Arctic mainland. Now, where is BVG again? Arcticus, Diesel Gantry. Oh, wait, BVG is even farther north than the mainland, right? No, that's Daylight Oil. Is this BVG? Hey, we found BVG. 63.9 kilometers. Sounds like just my idea of fun. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. It's nobody's idea of fun. All right, I put in autopilot and altitude hold, which will hopefully make this a little bit better it looks like we are at the right altitude i believe no never mind we are ascending anyways let's turn on autopilot hopefully we don't crash okay good we aren't crashing yet okay for thrust i've increased it to what 81 before this would make us tip over but with autopilot we're not doing too bad okay can we push it and go for 100 percent thrust yes we can Okay, this might have been a bad idea. I expected this to be faster. Look at how long this is gonna take. We've got, okay, I'm gonna time this right now. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start from seven. So that's the time taken for 0 0.1 of a kilometer. Now times that by a thousand, and that's how long it's gonna take me. That's awful. That is actually awful. Is it really worth it? Oh no, oh no, what just happened? We just did like a triple flip and it just automatically recovered from that. How? Okay, I'm not gonna question it since we're still alive and I'm happy about that. No, we're doing another one of those dumb flips. What? What is happening? Okay, good. We're not dead. All right, okay. I'm gonna check in with you guys in about say 20 minutes and you guys can see how far I've gotten. It's not been 20 minutes, but 30 minutes. And look how far we've gotten. That is actually nothing. 
and I'm pretty sure it's gonna take us around another hour to finally get there. Alright, hello, just checking in again. Finally, the first iceberg. Yes! If you look on the map here, after a very, very, very long time, we're finally reaching, what, the Arctic Circle, basically? And if you zoom in here, that is the iceberg we are seeing. Why does it have lines on it? What's up with the lines? And why are some of them dotted and some of them, like, straight lines? Can somebody tell me why? Okay, so it's taken me a very long time. We all know that. I've said that a few times, probably. I can actually see the BVG Fright Terminal. Okay, what we're gonna do is lower our ourselves to 100 meters i really hope this doesn't flip us like what happened last time okay i lowered my forward thrust by a lot so we should be slowing down now actually let's completely take away all of it so i'm gonna turn off everything altitude hold and altitude hold and manually start descending okay here we are at the bvg fright terminal i can't believe i'm probably even not gonna get paid after doing all of that anyways Let's see here. Let's land this and drop off all the cargo. We've landed. Oh, no. Okay, I don't want to crash at the very last moment. Okay, well, I was right. I didn't get any money at all, which is ridiculous. Let's turn off our connectors. Oh, no. I forgot these are connected with ropes, aren't they? Let's remove the ropes then. Okay, I deleted the first rope. Now it's only hanging on by two. Delete the second rope. And it's hanging on by one. And get rid of the last one. Here we go. Nice. We've got two delivered. Everything's delivered, so let's land this thing and end the video. Let's turn the engines off. All right, I, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!